The Synth ID watermark is meant to be impossible for you to see in an image but easy for the detection tool to spot, providing a reliable way to know which images are AI generated. Quora's AI chatbot product Poe has been updated with the ability to search for custom bots and a new enterprise tier for its premium plans. Fig has raised $2 million in venture dollars from YC, General Catalyst, and a host of angel investors. It's unlikely Amazon broke the bank making this acquisition, but it's interesting to see another AI company get acquired so early on in its journey by a larger company. What do you get when you take a cell phone video and a few seconds on a CPU? Well, in this case, state-of-the-art shape reconstruction. Slightly different from Gaussian splatting, but using the same fundamental math, this technique is a cool step forward in accessible 3D shape capture. Researchers have found a way to make transfer learning methods use less memory with a new approach called Universal Parallel Tuning, UniPT. This makes it easier to use these advanced methods in everyday situations. Researchers are exploring if diffusion models can make models that are already trained to be robust even stronger. A new method, DiffSmooth, cleans up data using diffusion and then uses a special smoothing process to make the models even more reliable. Many benchmarks don't accurately capture the full capabilities of language models. The unfortunate truth is model evaluation is increasingly vibes-based. The community sentiment is that this open assistant model is one of the best turn-based chat models available. Adaptive computation is the idea that a model can choose how much computation, e.g. how many parameters to use, to use for a given task. These can include search-based sampling methods or mixture of expert models. This reading list is actively maintained and extremely thorough. Llama 2-70B has been found to be almost as strong at factuality as GPT-4, and considerably better than GPT-3.5 Turbo, all while being significantly cheaper. A pessimistic view both on the current AI moment and the future world once changed by AI. Langfuse is an open-source observability and AMP analytics solution for LLM-based applications. It is mostly geared towards production usage but some users also use it for local development of their LLM applications. DSPY unifies techniques for prompting and fine-tuning LMs as well as improving them with reasoning and tool retrieval augmentation all expressed through a minimalistic set of Pythonic modules that compose and learn. This article explores the potential of generative AI models like ChatGPT to transform education through customized tutoring, adaptive lessons, and administrative support. It discusses implications for teaching and policy but stresses the need for human oversight to maximize benefits and limit risks. Gamma uses AI to generate a working presentation, document, or web page in under a minute. MindMyReviews uses AI to glean insights from your customers' reviews and testimonials.